Oh, hey, you guys. Movie Prodigy 25 here with a movie review. And I've been thinking about this one, and I think I'm going to do one on a classic movie that probably not a lot of kids have seen, but our parents have seen for sure. And if your parents haven't seen it, then there's something wrong. So, I was sitting in my world history class, and we were watching Schindler's List. And since I've seen that movie like a hundred times, I got bored with it. So I was like, I'm going to write out my review for this movie. So I sat there, and I wrote out what all, what all I wanted to say. Actually, it's right here. So, you know, guys, here we go. Um... I'm going to do my movie review on the movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Um, what was that? Um, this movie was released in 1982, and if you look at it, it's got the the universe the Universal 100th Edition anniversary. And this is one of those movies that was awarded with that because you know they're they're, they're classic movies that you're not that they're classic movies that you grow up watching and they wanted to award it with this. There's been plenty of movies that have won this award. This movie, The Deer Hunter, and then um, Smokey and the Bandit, National Lampoon's Animal House, The Jerk, The Coal Miner's Daughter. The Blues Brothers, On Golden Pond, E.T., and Scarface. They're all right there at the bottom of the timeline. And then when you open up this movie, it gives you a whole bunch of fun facts on the, the movie. and Like inside scoops. And there was a huge inside scoop on the inside of this that I had no idea about. And when I look back at it now... I'll, I'll mention what the inside scoop was later in the video, but when I look back in it, it's just like, wow, I can't believe that's really him, but anyway, here we go. So, Fast Times at Ridgemont High has a great cast, and it consists of Mr. Sean Penn, Forrest Whitaker, Nicolas Cage, believe me or not, and Judge Reinheld. Those are just, th there's more, but those are just the people that I know. And yes, you, <laughs> you heard me right. I did say Nicolas Cage. He's got a small part in this movie where he plays a cook at All American Burger where Judge Reinhold works. And it's, just, it's one of those things that you have to look really closely to see if it's him. That was the thing, the spoiler that was in there, that Nicolas Cage has a small role in this movie. Now, I did some research on it, and turns out Nick, Nicolas Cage actually auditioned for the role that Judge Reinhold got, and because he did not get it, he regrets ever being in this movie. And I personally think that's a, no reason to not be in this movie, because this is a great movie. It's a classic. Everyone knows well, not everyone owns it, but it's a, I mean, everyone has seen it. I've seen it. I've got a couple friends that have seen it. I, um, anyway, there's your little thing on Nicolas Cage. But, anyway, back to the movie. There is no exact plot for this movie. It's just one of those movies that my mom calls a stoner movie. Because in the movie, Sean Penn's character is a stoner and... Um, this movie but does consist of a couple people's stories one being Sean Penn's character who's um, Spicoli and then Judge, Judge Reinhold's story and then a guy named Mark Ratner and then his relationship status stuff and then there's a girl and I can't remember her name and she's kind of um, out there she's exploring her body and she you know she's a very friendly lady um 
but this is it's there's nothing really bad or good about this movie I mean it, it's funny as hell some of the stuff that Sean Penn's character does like when he walks in the classroom actually Mr. Han sends out a student to go find him and he comes back and he's got a he's got a bagel in his waist and I was just like who who comes up with the idea to put a bagel in your waist you know it's just it made me laugh and then when Spicoli orders a pizza right in the middle of the class and then Mr. Han takes it if that was my pizza I'd be pissed no one takes my pizza um Forrest Whitaker also has a, a smaller role in this movie. He plays a football player who's really good, and that comes... That's something, something important in the movie, but not extremely important, but it comes up later in it. Um, let me see here real quick. Um, no, that, that's really it for this video. It's a... Like I said, it's not one of those movies that has a plot. You can't really explain it that much. And because it's totally out there, you can't really explain it. But it's a good out there because it has the... the it all came together. But usually when movies are out there, they don't come together. So, you guys, that's my review on... Uh, oh. Um, something I haven't been doing the past few days, the past few videos, is giving it a rating. I did, did I, oh, this is, never mind. Um, this movie is, since I bought it on DVD, I'm going to give it the buy it on DVD rating because it's not a family fun movie. Um, along with that buy it on DVD rating I'm going to give it a uh, mm, you get about, about 7 stars out of 10 but oh, you know whatever um, anyway guys you know the drill um, subscribe to my channel um, leave a comment below Tell me what you thought of this video, what movies you want me to review, and then, as you guys know, all my videos are right here, so feel free to watch those if you enjoyed this, and you know, I'll be back soon, maybe tomorrow or Friday before I go to work, um, with another movie review, so, you guys have yourself a good night.